about me, back to the main act. So coming up next is a senior performer. His last day is tomorrow before he does the exams. He has a quite a unique characteristic. He's here to talk to us how a spark from a spark into flames. Can I please call up on stage, Sergi Sherba. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, a spark, a noun. In physics, it's described as a particle with enough combustion energy to ignite or a small ember. Now, there are a lot of definitions of spark that many of us have heard. Like, for example, there are sparks coming out from his head. It does not mean that the person's hair is burning and they're suffering in agony. Now, and I think most of the girls here heard the most commonest, cheesiest line I've ever saw. And suddenly, a spark have went between them. Romance is another essentials of a spark, as well as anger, stress, and my most favorite thing, fire. <laughs> now, today I'm not going to talk about literature, romance, because it would be too long. I would see some people already falling asleep there. I'm going to talk about how a spark inside one man's heart made us all burn along with him. Now, everyone, please raise your hand if you have any Apple product in the theater tonight. Oh, I see some people are waving their iPads to me. Amazing. So tonight, I'll talk about the great founder of Apple, Steve Jobs, and how his small dream became a spark for everyone. Now, if we all think about it, how do we start a company? We need a goal, an idea to make a profit. Now, if you think about Steve Jobs, he never wanted all of that. He never wanted ambitions. He and his friend, Steve Wozniak, they wanted pizza. Yes, a lot of pizza. So they decided to make Apple, a company that brought them millions for a very delicious dream. Now, all sparks start very small. And in case of Jobs, he was 12 year old. As like all normal 12 year olds, he was at home assembling his own electric appliance. So suddenly he realized that he lacked a part. Now I'm not going to mention the part because I have no idea what it means. So if you lack a part, what do you do? You ask for help, you ask your parents. But what does Steve does? He calls, he calls a CEO of Harvard Pocket Industries and asks him for a part. Now I know it's completely normal for a child to call a CEO of a huge company at that time and ask them for parts. And Harvard thought so. So he thought, hmm, this kid is smart. Hey, you want a job at my company during summer? Sure. And during that time, he met a man, Steve Wozniak, who made his spark glow even brighter. Now, we all know how he became a millionaire. His computer's Apple first became his rising star. Afterwards came iPhones and everything else. But what made him so great? It was not the ambitions. It was not even the education, because he had none. He only went to school, even from high school, he dropped out. He didn't go to college nor university. So what made him achieve what he did? A small spark that was right here in his heart. Now, I remember one of the speakers here mentioning magicians or magic. Well, there's no such thing as magic unless it's made by our own hands. And what requires made magic is a very small piece of effort. A very small piece of effort that you can use along with your dreams and ideas to break through the barriers of normality. Now, the normality are the social norms which are accepted by society. And if you use your spark to break through those norms and tackle them down, you'll achieve what you want. Now, I know a few of my friends like Celine and Ismail are sitting here in this theater watching me right now. Now, whenever I tell them about any of the idea or dream that they get, they tell me, Sergi, you're crazy. <laughs> I admit, I may be insane, but I have dreams that may turn into a flame, a flame of passion. Like, right now in this theater, I know a few people who have a huge spark in their, in their heart, like my dear friend Erfan and Tay, who is about to perform. They're great singers. They might become next Mozart's. They might become next Michael Jackson's because it's their passion. They love to sing, and they love doing what they do. 
as well as my friend Oscar, who is sadly not here. He's a great artist. He's so great that he might become next Picasso or even Stan Lee with his comics. And he, that's his belief, that's his spark. We all have a spark in our hearts. It just takes effort to break them out, to break them out from a cage we call reality and into our own hands. Now, I think I've bored everyone already, so let's make a very sweet and short conclusion. Don't let anyone's ideas extinguish your spark. You are you and no one's gonna be more youer than you. <laughs> so please, after tonight's speeches, go back home, sit down, and let your heart break for the barriers of normality. Because you know the saying, you have to fight the power in order to achieve the power. Now, thank you all for listening. It was a great pleasure. Thank you very much.